which is your histology. So histology always refers to the tissues. So we're gonna be looking at some tissue types today. All right, so first of all, we have what is called your simple squamous epithelium. So from what you're learning in lecture, you probably know that this means it's one layer of flat cells. So you can see just the one layer of cells right here. Um, the only structure you actually need to know on here is the nucleus, which you can see this little dark spot right here. So this tissue type you can find in like your alveoli, um, in like some of your blood vessels. So this is just like a thin layer that allows like stuff to pass through sometimes. So like gas exchange in the alveoli, for example. Um, all right, going on, we have what is your simple columnar epithelium. So both these that I've covered, your simple squamous and your simple columnar, these are both epithelial tissue. Remember your four tissue types. Um, so your simple columnar, you know that this is a single, uh, a single layer of column-shaped cells, which you can see right here. A um, couple things you need to know on here. Your nucleus is this little dark spot right here. You have your cytoplasm, which is like the fluid of the cell, so you can see all of this space right here is your cytoplasm. Plasma membrane is just going to be this outer covering of the cell. Um, you also have uh, cilia or uh, microvilli which kind of line the cell right here and you can also have goblet cells which you can see right here so for example this tissue type so you can find your simple columnar epithelium all along your digestive tract so your microvilli here actually is going to increase your uh, surface area and this will allow more room for like absorption of nutrients and everything along that tract um, so going on what you see right here is your pseudostratified columnar epithelium. It's a really wrong name, and basically what it means is that you only have one layer of cells, but because of the organization of the nuclei, it kind of looks like you have multiple layers. So it looks like it's fake, fake multiple layers. So that's what pseudostratified means, essentially. But each cell is attached to your basement membrane right down here. A couple things you need to know. Your nucleus is going to be this dark spot right here. You also have... Cytoplasm again, which is here. Um, your plasma membrane is just going to be this outer covering of the cell again. Your cilia, you can see right up here, it kind of forms this little, um, kind of almost brush border kind of thing. So what cilia does is it basically just sweeps stuff along. Um, you also have goblet cells in here, which I don't really see in here, but remember from your uh, simple columnar is those little cells within between the cells and that's what secretes your mucus. So this tissue type, a common place to see it is right here, lining your trachea. So in this instance, your cilia is gonna help sweep. So when you cough up like mucus or something, your goblet cells are producing that mucus. And then your cough, your cilia is gonna sweep that mucus up so that nothing goes down into your lungs and blocks your airway essentially. All right, next we have your skeletal muscle, which you can see right here. Um, so remember you have like smooth muscle and you have skeletal muscle, um, there's differences. So here you can see your skeletal muscle. This is what forms all of your voluntary muscles. So your biceps, your, uh, your abs, whatever you want to call that. A um, couple things you need to know. Your muscle fiber is actually this whole cell right here. So muscle fiber is the same as a muscle cell essentially. Something unique about this muscle type of muscle is there are multiple nuclei per cell. This is because your muscle cells essentially go the whole length of your muscle. So it requires like more brains, so to speak. Anyway, so there's uh, multiple multinucleated cells basically. Um, you also have striations, which you can see are these little lines right here. And you'll learn later on, this is actually what your microfilaments, so like your actin and myosin, uh, the way they act, they form these striations within the cell. So this is your muscle cell. Moving on, we have your adipose, which is a type of connective tissue. So you probably know that adipose is kind of the same as fat tissue right here. So you can find this anywhere you find body, uh, fat in the body, essentially. So your nucleus is actually gonna be like, for example, right here, this little dark spot is your nucleus and all you have your plasma membrane lining the outside and then all of this within is your fat storage area. So in the case of this tissue, the fat storage area takes up so much space that like kind of pushes all the organs to the outside. So that's why you see your nucleus right here on the outer edge of the cell. 
So next we have your hyaline cartilage. This is a type of connective tissue, again, just like your adipose is. Uh, basically, any tissue type that isn't an epithelium or a muscle, that's gonna fall into the connective tissue category. So this one's a little more confusing. You have what's called your lacuna. So if you look right here, for example, you see this little space outside the cell. So in the case, because uh, cartilage is kind of a more dense, harder tissue. So in order to have spots for the cells, you have these little indentations within the tissue that you can find the cells in. So this lacuna is actually like a little hole kind of within the tissue, and that's what your chondrocyte or, uh, or cell is located. Your nucleus is gonna be this dark spot right here, plasma membrane. Remember, it's not this outer layer because that's what the outer covering, outer uh, edge of the lacuna is. It's like gonna be the second membrane sort of right here, you can see. Um, you also have cytoplasm, which is everything within it. And in the case of hyaline cartilage, um, cartilage are like a lot of connective tissues, they have what's called a matrix, which is essentially everything you find outside the cell. So for hyaline cartilage, all of this is going to be your matrix. All right, this tissue type you see right here is your compact bone. So, a few things you need to know. Remember your lacuna over from the uh, hyaline tissue, you also have a similar thing within the bone tissue. So, these are gonna be your uh, osteocytes, or your bone cells right here, and these are gonna be in little pockets within the bone tissue. And that's what your lacuna are. If you can kind of look here, you have these little circles that make up this bone tissue. This is what you call the lamella, each individual ring. You also have your central canal, which is this right here in the middle. And this is how your bone gets all of its blood, essentially, because you have little blood cells running through, um, blood vessels running through these central canals. And that's uh, how the osteocytes get their nutrients. Lastly, we have your blood tissue, which you see right here. So you'll get into more depth in this later on, but some basic things you need to know. This is also a type of connective tissue. You don't really think of blood as a tissue, but it actually is. Um, so you have your red blood cells, which are basically all of these cells right here. Everyone knows what the red blood cells are. Um, you also have white blood cells, which are these bigger ones you see right here. These are like your immune system fighters. This is what fights off bacteria and stuff. Um, your platelets are gonna be these little things up here. This helps with like coagulation and everything. Uh, you can find these all, all throughout the blood a lot. Um, and then plasma, remember uh, connective tissue has a matrix. Plasma is actually the matrix of uh, blood. So it's gonna be all of this fluid within here and that kind of helps blood flow. That's like the fluid of the blood. And that covers all of the tissues that you guys need to know. So thanks.